You can hardly see her. <laughs> we got sad. There she is. Hi. And this one. Hold well on. Oh wow. It is gorgeous out here. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I just did my skincare. So that's what it looks like this. Also, thank you to the so many people who said my arm's tired already. <laughs> who said that my skin um is looking better. It's just that serum that I've been using, which I dropped the other day and a bunch of it spilled out. That's an airplane. Um, so I need to figure out, I need to figure out if I can find that same serum to repurchase or if it was only in cause box. And if so, what else I can get? So the plan for today, I want to have a bagel, like old school Taryn. We're gonna make a bagel and some coffee. And then I wanna film, start filming a video. I'm gonna meet my mom for lunch. I am gonna go purchase a belt for this weekend's Style Saturday video from Kato. I'll take you with me. And then I'm gonna come home and film. Um, I need to do laundry. She's just running the fence back there. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, Thursday and Friday this week, I'm going to Chic Soul. So I'll just take the video I filmed today with me on my computer and I'll edit Thursday night in the hotel. I made a firecracker, yeah, firecracker chicken recipe I had found online last night. I will put a picture here on the screen. I won't do that again. <laughs> Brian loved it. Ate, I mean like scraping the bowl, loved it. It was just too spicy for me, which is strange because typically I'm the one that can eat a lot of spicy and he can't, but it was almost like a sweet heat. And it had, I think I just put too much crushed red pepper in it. Um, but I'll put the recipe in the description box down below if you are interested. It looked pretty. I ate all the chicken out of it. I just couldn't eat the rice with like all the liquid sauce on it. It was just too much. It could also be yesterday. I had a coffee in the morning while I got ready. And then probably at like 2.30, 3 o'clock, I had another coffee. And it kind of made me feel a little bit weird because I think I just had too much coffee. So that could be um, another thing, like not another reason why my stomach just wasn't up to par. Before I make a bagel, oh, you okay? Here's the menu that I made for this week so that we have something that we want every day of the week. So we've already done these two. We did the firecracker chicken last night. Um, I'm doing this tomorrow in the crock pot when I leave so that Brian can eat it. So maybe tonight we'll do the pork medallions because I need sausage for that and buns for that. Which one did we buy? We bought this to cut into rounds. I've never done that before. So that'll be interesting. I'll have to find some sort of recipe. The ones that we like, the pork medallions are from Costco, but we didn't get to Costco this weekend to get the meat. So I'll just have to cut those. I mean, I can cut them the, to the size that I want, but I need to figure out seasoning wise what to do with them. Um, and I think, what else did it say on there? Mashed potatoes? Those are easy. So um, I'll find a recipe. These are pre-sliced. I only buy pre-sliced from now on, but I still, you know, that's still like stuck at the corners. You can't even see my face. <laughs> um, because a few years ago, did I tell you all this? I was cutting a bagel and I was holding it like this, cutting it, not this knife, a different one, straight through my hand. I had to go have, I don't even know how many stitches, but it was all right there. The doctor did a great job because it was right in the crease right there and you can't even really see it. However, all the nerves in this finger didn't like connect again. So it feels a little bit weird sometimes, but fun fact, I will never hold anything like that to cut it again. I will always stay far away from the blade. While we wait for the bagel, we'll make some coffee. I kind of want to go and get a couple of these, but the small ones from Publix, I guess, probably has them to take with me so that I can drink them on Friday morning in Auburn. Is that crazy? To put them in like a Yeti on ice so that I can have my coffee. 
Do you think it's crazy? Do you or no? She will sleep hi on any piece of clothing that you put here you were so pretty it's about 12 o'clock i have made it to kato fashions so uh hair right there oh got it um i actually put on fake lashes and filmed a little bit of style saturday and they were making my eyes water so bad i mean like it took off some of my makeup so I ended up taking them off. Um, but we're going to go in, see if we can find a belt. I haven't heard from them. Is that rain? It is. <sighs> I haven't heard from my mom yet, which means that she's still at the hospital. Did I tell you all that? She does. Today she has her maintenance drugs plus radiation. So she's not going to be done for a little while. So we're going to run in here, get a belt. If I still haven't heard from her, I'm going to go next door to Rouse's and get the couple things that we talked about for Thursday since I won't be home. So let's go in. It's also warm again outside. So I'm wearing a pair of shorts, which feels nice. All right, here we go. I don't know if I want, I wanted black, but I don't like this one. So we may just have to do brown. I don't know if I want leopard. And this is not really what I'm going for. I got quite a few things from Kato, so I'll show you when we get in the car. But while I'm here, we're gonna run in and get these buttons for tomorrow. All right, let's get these. All right, my mom is done, so I don't have a chance to show you that I got her a top from Kato. So I wanted to show you before I gave it to her. I did ask for an extra bag to put her top in too. Okay, here it is. It's like a flowy top. It was on sale for $9.99. And I thought that she would like it with the patterns and stuff. So I'm gonna put it in this bag and give it to her. And I'll show you what I got for myself later. I'm home now. I got sucked into Ratchet on Netflix. Is anyone else watching that? I think I just started episode six five or six not at all what i thought it was going to be if you watch it then you know that um but i want to show you my little bit of a kato haul my mom loved her top by the way i mean she didn't try it on because we were eating mexican food but she said that she liked it so here's what i got how much money did i spend 51 dollars. i did grab a couple of belts we saw they didn't have black unfortunately but i did get this brown sort of like textured snake skin type belt i don't love this but i can get over it and then i also got obviously the leopard one it's like faux fur can you see that <laughs> um so i got both of them in a size 3x they did have all sizes available at my store. So these were $9.99 each. And then I also spotted this one in the sales section. It was on sale for $3.99. Um, so I figured what could hurt to have more belts. So I like the tortoise chunky hook, buckle, buckle. That's what it is. Um, but this is really pretty. How pretty is this going to be in the summertime? Because it's this like basket weave type textured material. And then I also got, y'all, this is the find of the entire day. This shirt was $2.99. How gorgeous. It is a little bit cropped. So I'm not sure how I'll, st I'll style it, but I kind of picture it with um, high-waisted dark flare jeans and some little boots. I like the colors, obviously, are very fall. The sleeves are pretty. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's in a size 22, 24. I guess I'll put it on. I haven't tried any of it on yet. 
it matches perfectly with my purple Nike shorts. Um, it's a little bit tight in the bust area, but I don't think you can tell just by wearing it. I mean, oh, it's like a wrap style. How pretty. There's a little button here on the side. And it has this clasp here. So if you didn't want to hook it, then you don't have to. I mean, $2.99, come on. And then I also got this one for me. It was $9.99, that's what the tag says, but I feel like it was marked down even more. This one I grabbed in a 2628. They had it in an 1820, but it looked a little bit small. And y'all know I like oversized things. But I thought this could be really cute with some bike shorts. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get the smaller size. Oh, that's a good length too. It's soft. I could sleep in this. I have no idea what the 29 means. They had quite a few baseball type tees like this in just different print, but the same fluorescent or orange, yellow fluorescent orange with the stripes um, and the same number on it. I wonder if that symbolizes something. But yeah, this is gonna be super cute with bike shorts. I may wear this, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. But I liked the keyhole at the top. My mini haul. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy with everything. I am going to continue filming my style Saturday video now that I have my belts and I will see you at dinner time. Good morning, y'all. Is it raining? Huh, it is. Well, it's it was. It's not currently. Um, my phone makes it look way brighter out here than it really is. It is about 6... I'm going to go with 6.15 in the morning, bright and early. We're going to get ready and head to Chic Soul. I did order another one of those uh, face serums last night. I'll put it down below because I feel like a lot of y'all would like it. I'm impressed for sure. Um, I am gonna do a crock pot meal as well, so I'll show you that. Oh, last night, Brian didn't even get off work until like almost nine o'clock, so I didn't cook dinner. Um, that's why you didn't see dinner, but I am gonna put the, I'll tell you what I'm putting in the crock pot before I leave this morning. All right, let's put this in the crock pot. This is, a pork shoulder, but roast. I pulled, oh, it's frozen. Oh no. <gasps> Y'all, I don't know what to do. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put, this is not happening, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back in the fridge and Brian can just, Figure out something else for dinner. Maybe he can put that in the crock pot in the morning. On another note, hair and makeup is done. I'll brush my curls a little bit more once I get closer because I do have quite a bit of drive. I also washed my hair last night, so they're probably not gonna hold that great. Um, I didn't do lashes. I'm not that great at them. I did them. Did I tell you about that? One day, filmed a video, everything was great. Well, then the next day, I tried them again for a video, filmed the video, but my eyes were watering so bad that there was no way that I could wear those to drive, much less to work in. So I brought them with me, and if I'm feeling a little bit adventurous tomorrow, um, I may try them on in the morning because it's just a short drive to the studio. And then once we're done, I can take them off to drive home. I'm just putting these extra waters in the fridge. All right, bag is packed. Y'all know the drill about what's included in that bag. I'm bringing my computer to edit a video tonight. My call sheet. I mean, it's in my email, but still just so that I don't know why I just showed you the inside of my garbage can. We're done shooting for the day. It's gross outside. It's kind of cool here. I didn't even take into consideration I wore shorts. It is 73-ish degrees, um, a little bit rainy. I, you're gonna make fun of me, but y'all know I've said this so many times that if I get a chip 
and my nails, I pick at it until I peel them all off the gel nails. Well, I'll put a picture here. This was last night. So uh, today I shot and then I just left the nail salon. <laughs> I just got the gel taken off and got a regular manicure. I just couldn't even look at it. So now it is five o'clock. I am going to check into the hotel. I debated going to Target um, because the hotel I'm staying in is near Target, but honestly, I just wanna go to the hotel, take a shower, put on pajamas and watch TV. I do need to edit on the computer. So uh, we may save the Target trip for another time when we're here. Hi, uh, check it in please. Again, y'all know. I hate elevators by myself. That humidity though. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm in the room I was in time before last. Four or five, ooh. Yep. This one? Yep. Before we do anything, let's see what kind of view we have. Oh, okay. All right, that's one window. These rooms on the corner seem to be just, oh, that one don't open, a little bit bigger. All right. I'd rather see this than a parking lot. Here's what the room looks like if you're interested. <laughs> um, it's always super clean here and I feel very safe. I like this hotel. I'm gonna lock us in. Yep. Bathroom tour, toilet, hello, and a shower. I wore this new um, Kato hot pink top today with some shorts. This was my look. Let's bump this air down just a little bit. Put it on 70. Um, okay, so it's only 520. I'm not hungry yet. So I'm gonna take a shower, do some work, and then I'll catch up with y'all in a little while. All right, I'm gonna take the makeup off my face, take a shower, wash my face in the shower. Y'all know the drill. We did this sort of last time that I came. I always bring these little, um, I was like thinking big, I brought thick lashes. Ooh, I don't know about all that. Um, I always leave these tiny individual wrapped makeup remover wipes. I, it, I got a bunch of these in, I bought a pack from Costco and it included a whole bunch of these tiny ones. So I thought they were perfect for travel. So I'm going to wipe my makeup off, take me a shower. I brought my, is it Seeing Stars is the brand? the maroon and white polka dot long sleeve pajamas. I'm gonna make this room about 65 and I'm gonna edit some videos. Um, I gotta be back to the warehouse studio at 8 a.m. I also need to practice my TikTok dance. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so excited, um, but we're gonna do a bunch of TikToks and other kind of videos today. We did some fun ones today, me and Kim work together on the videos today. So I'm gonna do this and just enjoy my night and I will see y'all in the morning.
Hair is curled. Good morning, by the way. Y'all know the drill. I'm going to sit right here, lay this towel out, lay my makeup out, and pick a show to watch. A little OOTD. This is the top from Cotton Bay. I snagged one before they sold out, and I just paired it with these airy bike shorts and some Target sandals. I think it's kind of chilly here, um, and I have a rain jacket. That's it, so I'm gonna put that on. Oh my goodness, I forgot to vlog when I came in. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? We already gave lovin's. Where's the, where's the, oh, who? Where are you? <gasps> there she is. Do you miss mama? <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. Oh my goodness. I'm home. I want to take a shower. <laughs> I want to wash my hair. Um, I'm gonna do some laundry. I need to finish up Saturdays style Saturday video. Um, Brian, oh, he did, yes. He put the Boston butt in the crock pot. I won't open it. Oh, it's gonna be good for dinner. Good morning. It is 64 degrees outside, y'all. 64. The low is 55. I think that's plain. Um, I think it's supposed to be cool all week, which is nice. So it's Tuesday. I didn't see you Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I just took a break. Um, but today we need to clean the closets. So that's going to be a big project. We will do it together. I don't know what she's doing. I feel like I say that in every video. What is she doing? But I just watch her to make sure she's not eating anything she's not supposed to eat. All right. So I'm going to drink my coffee, make me a grocery list, and then we will clean the closet. Closets, maybe. Let me show you this too that we did yesterday. There's a place in town called ted and nancy's it's a local fruit stand but this time of year they have the most beautiful pumpkins so brian and i went yesterday and got all of these and these i loved these like the texture and the color of that green one and they had a display with ones that were stacked so that's why we did stacked ones because i thought it was so pretty but this like peachy color is gorgeous so we did that yesterday are we ready to do this closet? So it is a little bit later. I did go to Zaxby's and get me my tried and true. I love the house salad. It's amazing. So um, what I want to do, I'm thinking we'll pull, there's so many things in here that I haven't worn in so long. So what we'll do is we'll pull everything out that I don't want and we'll stack it into keep, donate, and sell. I don't foresee there being too many in the sell pile just because what I've wanted to sell I have already in the past. But that's what we're going to do. I have shoes that I need to just, I need to just purge because I can't do this anymore. There's so much stuff in here. Also, I just cried watching the first episode of Away on Netflix with Hilary Swank. Have you watched it? I've been avoiding it, not really avoiding, but it's not really my kind of show, I guess. I was like, space, is this my thing? But I wanted something to watch while I ate my Zaxby's salad. So good. I only watched the first episode, so I'm excited to watch some more of that. Also, yesterday, it was like six o'clock last night and I was feeding the cat and the dog. They have dry food all the time, but at night they get wet food. So I was trying to peel back, it's like the top paper, plastic-ish part of the cat food and I couldn't get it with my finger so I thought I'll just do it with my mouth if if you know where this is going so I like put my mouth on it and pulled it and when I did it like jerked my head back and all the juice that was in this cat food went into my mouth so I was like over the sink, spitting, laughing at the same time, shoveling water into my mouth. Brian comes running in there and he's like, what just happened? And I was like, I can't even say it. It was just like the grossest thing. I'm not one that like gets sick where things come up very often, knock on wood. Um, but that, that could have done it for me. It didn't, but um, so I like came in here and like washed my face with like soap and water, brushed my teeth, changed clothes. I was like, I cannot believe I just did that. How gross, right? <sighs> um, okay, so let's do the closet. I'll show you what it looks like. 
and then we'll decide what we're gonna keep. This is, ma'am, excuse me, we're filming. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. It is like you can barely fit anything else up there. We have pants at the bottom. All of these are shoes. And this little thing here is workout clothes and you can see some like little nipple covers and stuff. Extra t-shirts, I mean, oh gosh. I just need to go through it and I can't, I need to get rid of it. This might be the best angle that we can get. These are bras. I go through those pretty regularly. So there's, those are gonna stay. All right, so let's move these out of the way and we'll just get started. Are you gonna come in here or are you just gonna stand there? Okay, so I just pulled out a couple. We'll go ahead and start our pile. Um, there's actually more things in here to sell than I initially thought. So I guess we'll separate them into things like I mentioned. I guess we'll only do two stacks because the ones I'm keeping, I will just leave in the closet. So this is sell, this is donate, right? All right, I've pulled everything that I think I don't want or need. So this is what we're left with. I'm pretty happy with this. These are things that I will wear. I know for sure that fit me, that I like, that I will wear. So now let's do jeans. All right, I need to save jeans that I know or pants that I know fit me, good condition, and that I've paired with a lot of different things. Now it's time for shoes. So, oh gosh, these are mostly boots and a few pairs of sneakers. And then I have all of these. I put this in to help with the overflow. So let's just power through this because a lot of these I don't even wear anymore. I think I'm done with hanging clothes and shoes. I'll get to that another day. <laughs> I need to figure out what t-shirts I wanna keep. So these are all the clothes I've donated so far. I'll show you what I'm gonna sell. So we have tops and jeans and then shoes. I feel like I did a pretty good job of using the space I have and keeping what I know I will wear. These are the few things that I'm going to sell. So I'm gonna post them on Poshmark right now so they will be available by the time that you're watching this video. I'll leave a direct link in the description box of this video. Let's fast forward to about 7.20, 7.30. Brian's supposed to get off at eight. I'm gonna do Sloppy Joe's for dinner. I haven't heard from him yet. I always wait to cook until I hear from him to make sure he's getting off all the time, especially Sloppy Joe's. I mean, I can start those when he gets off work because he's like 10 minutes from the house. Um, but I wanted to talk about this. So I think I'm almost done with this. This is the Kerastase. It's like a scalp 
hair and scalp treatment. So it's supposed to help hair growth. And I've been using it religiously every time I wash my hair for what? I mean, I feel like y'all can probably tell me better than I can guess. It's been a while. So I do two little drop thingies on this side. Right here is where my hair tends to have a lot of breakage. I'm pretty sure it's because how I sleep. We'll talk about that too. <laughs> but then it says you can use up to four of these if you have super thick hair, and I do. So then I just stick two more on that side. And then I just rub it in with my hands. Let it sit there for a second. Sorry, I had to readjust you. <laughs> I've never had any issues with um, my hair being greasy or oily or anything where I put this. So I'm pretty sure, see I can't see in it, but I don't think there's much left. Okay, so here's my thoughts. It was like $51, so it's not super affordable. Um, I have seen these front pieces right here grow, but on the same on the same note, you're going to have to go here. For some reason, I can't get you to stay where I want you to stay. All right. So I have also not been straightening or curling my hair right there because I do have the issue. And then also I've been using um, that sleep pillow. So is it this? Is it the other things I've been doing? I don't know. I think it could be a combination of everything, but... It does smell good. I feel like it's working. So that's my little, not really review on this. And then as always, I'm going to take probably, let's do two pumps of this Kara sauce. And this also, same deal. I've never had any issues with it causing greasy or oiliness near my roots. And I put it like you're watching me. I put it like right on my roots. So I, th last week, okay, let's talk about last week for a second. I had five videos go live last week. <sighs> That's a lot. Um, and then this week, I'm excited because on Tuesday, you got Eloquy Elements. On Thursday, you're getting this video. Friday, you're getting another bonus video. Saturday is obviously Style Saturday. But on Saturday, I'm filming a really fun video with one of my friends. She's not a YouTuber. But I still think it'll be fun because her and I are pretty much the same size, but we have such different body shapes. Um, and so I think it'll be interesting to see us in the same outfits. So we're going to film that on Saturday. You'll probably see sneak peeks and stuff this weekend. And then I'm going to try to edit it and get it up on Tuesday. But that'll be really fun. I'm excited for that. I've been trying to find someone to do videos like that with me in person. Um, because I know not every, obviously, I mean, not everybody is the same shape as I am. You know, we may wear the same size, but there's a huge variety of us in this exact same size range. So I think it'll be fun and interesting to show it, you know, show the same body and different clothes or the same clothes on different bodies. All right. So I will see y'all once I start cooking dinner, sloppy joes again doesn't take super long so I'll see you then Happy Wednesday. Yep, it is Wednesday. So it is about 1045, 1050-ish. I am headed to Bella Rose today. Typically, I'm there from 9 to 1, but today they asked me if I could come in at 12 instead, so I said yes. I'm excited for today. It's cool outside. I think the high today is like 74. Um, it was like 60s when I woke up this morning. Felt amazing. 
the lows at night are in the 50s like mid 50s and it feels so so good so i'm gonna go and shoot with them until late afternoon um i'll show you a little bit here and there of what we do though you've seen i think i've i've filmed a studio shoot with them and a location shoot with them so you kind of get the idea i wear a bunch of clothes and take pictures in them um but you know, it might still be fun to see a little bit of what's going on today. All right, so everything in pink is for me, which is exciting. Ooh, I'm just kind of talking to myself a little bit, but. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's your <laughs> I have fluid in my ears, so like. Do you? Ooh, that is soft. I will show you outfit number one. It's this adorable two piece set with leopard on the sleeves. I'm probably in the largest size available. That's typically, where is it? Uh, it's typically what I wear. So whenever this goes live on the website, keep in mind that I could also size down in this. Whichever size I'm wearing, they'll list, but remember I could size down. Okay, sorry for the terrible angle. Oh my gosh, look at this jacket. It's a corduroy, corduroy like gray. All this stuff too that you see today is coming soon, by the way. But this, I can't take this one home with me. I have to wait just like y'all do to buy it on the website. This I'm buying. I mean, okay, as I talk to myself again. Thank you. It is about 5.30. I got done at four o'clock. It's about an hour drive to my house, but I stopped at Walmart and got a couple different options. I have a hair right there uh, for dinner for tonight and tomorrow night. And then I figured we would wrap up this video with a little bit of an airy try on haul. So a couple days ago, I shared over on Instagram that airy had something called like crackled leggings that closely resembled the faux leather-ish leggings that I have from Cotton Bay. Sadly, the Cotton Bay ones are sold out. So I shared that and then I thought, let me check them out and just see about the airy ones. And I ended up grabbing them in like a hunter green color. I'm pretty sure they were on sale for like 30 bucks, regular price. $54.95 and I think I paid like $32 for them. So they're the offline brand of Airy. I got them in an extra, extra large. They look pretty good. They look a whole lot like the ones from Cotton Bay. This doesn't look super tiny at the ankle. Um, all right, so I got these. We will try those on and to pair with them. This has been in my cart for a long time and it went on sale for like 17 bucks. It's one of their like oversized boyfriend tees. I think it was like $14. I grabbed it in an extra, extra large. But how cute. Right? You know, the tiger print, like everything is tiger print now for some reason. And then I also grabbed this sweater. They were doing like a 40% off sale. I didn't need a sweater, but I really liked this one. I also grabbed it in an extra, extra large. It's meant to be oversized. So I'm hoping that that's how it is on me. And it's got the slit on the side. This is how most, the style is how most of my airy sweaters are or pullovers, but I don't own one in this actual sweater fabric. All right, so 
that fits pretty decent. It's not super oversized on me, but here we go. And then these are the leggings. Hello, super high waisted. I could have even gotten away with an extra large, I think, but I'm keeping these because this size fits. But I love the green. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the ankles aren't baggy. You know, I just said I was worried about the ankles, um, but they're not baggy at all. So I like these a whole lot. I think it's a fun, different take on the faux leather leggings. All right, I'll put the sweater on now. All right. Again, these are meant to be oversized. This is very cozy. Could be very cute with like some high-waisted jeans and some little booties. Okay, I do like this. I like that it's oversized. It feels very comfy. This comes a little bit high on the side for my liking. Um, but I think, like I said, I think this was on sale for like 30 bucks. The t-shirt was like 14 and the leggings were like 32. Um, uh, my favorite is the leggings. This green color is so fun. I don't know why I love it so much. All right. So I will link these items in the description box down below. We'll wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see y'all in my next video. I like this. Okay, bye.